Next up in our AP Fiber series is the Red Sparkle Ghost Shrimp. This fly features our homemade dubbing where we're using two different colors of the EP original fibers mixed with the EP Sparkle to make this great little bonefish shrimp pattern. We're going to be starting with a size 2 saltwater hook. You can do this in a bunch of different sizes. All you need to do is change up the size of the chain eyes. Now we're going to be starting here with about an eye's length behind and creating a little base. And for this fly, we're using a chain eye, but you can also use dumbbell eyes if you need to get a little more weight. And we're going to tie this in with using an X pattern over the top and a figure eight underneath to help lock everything in. And then we're going to be moving back down a little bit on the bend of the hook. And then we're going to be tying in two long pieces of flash. Now I'm using three different colors of flash on this fly. You can use any combination you'd like. But use at least two. And here we're going to be adding our dumping mix. And once again, it's a gray and white original fiber mix with the red spark. And then we're going to get some nice, consistent, even wraps going forward. And then I'm adding just a little bit extra to cover up the eyes. This would be a good time to trim up any wild or long fibers you have. And we're going to take our two strands of flash here and we're going to start rolling them, turn it into more of a rope. And then we're going to be wrapping the opposite way we just wrapped the dubbing to add a little bit of strength. The next part we're going to be turning the fly over to tie everything else in. So here I'm adding two longer pieces of red flash, folding over the thread to double it so we have four. And I'm trimming this about two hook lengths long. And next, I'm adding three pieces of a root beer flash and folding it over so we double it. And this one's going to be a little bit longer, so trim this one about two and a half hook lengths. You can also use a black midge here, which is a little more common, but I was out of any midge flash at the moment, so we're using the crystal flash instead. And then we're going to be adding in legs. I'm using a gold sparkle version of the silly legs for this one, but you can use any variety you'd like. And I've tied these both on the top and then folded them over to tie them in. You can tie them in separately and go two on two on each side. Next is to add our shrimp eyes. I've made these two by hand by melting two pieces of 20 pound mono, a little bit of nail polish, and some UV resin. But you can also buy these prepackaged. And I'm measuring these right to about the tip of the hook. And then we're going to be bending that over. You can use your hands or you can use some pliers. We're basically creating a nice tie-in point. And then we're going to be tying those in right at the bend and then working those back. By tying at the bend, it helps hold the eyes up. And they also help as being a mini weed guard as well for this fly. And next, we're going to be adding in about a 3-inch piece of the 3D fiber. I'm using a sand color. We don't need it to be too bulky. But one trick is to pull on each end of the fibers to get more of a tapered look here. We're 
we're going to be tying this in about halfway and then folding it back and then completely tying it in. Then we're going to even out the head, do a couple whip finishes. And last step is to lock everything down with some resin or some head cement. And that's the EP Red Sparkle Ghost Ramp.